Mr. Toad? Do something, Big B, before he completely tears up the place! Whoa, 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 hey, hey! You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid cunt? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Please, Big B. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. Look, whatever it is, it's between you and Beast. I'm staying out of it. It's not what you might be thinking. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Come with me. No. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow! You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. No, I'm D. He's dumb. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. Holly, you're out of paper towels and the... Uh, they're gonna string me up, baby. Like you said, it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. All right. I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl named... Fuck, man! This fucking lab dog. He comes sniffing around this part of town with the rich fucks in the world. He's needs to shake down. Ain't that right, Big B? Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. Making this more difficult than it has to be. If you just cooperate and answer the questions, you can go home. Maybe get some sleep. How are you feeling? I know it's been a long night for you. You look like you could use some rest. I'm hunky dory. Thanks for asking. There's no need to get aggressive. I'm trying to help you. Look, I know what you must be going through. Really, I do. But I could use your cooperation. You don't know anything. If you did, you wouldn't be sitting here talking to me. You'd be talking to the piece of shit that did this. Well, you stonewalling me like this isn't helping either of us, so why don't you cut the shit and... Trying to help you, Bigby. What is it with you cops? Always trying to empathize with people. I know this must be hard for you. Do you? Do you fucking know? Have you had a friend killed and their head left at your fucking doorstep? No. Didn't think so. Your nose is bleeding. Are you... okay? You don't look so good. Detective Brannigan? I'm Detective Brannigan. Uh, yeah. I know. I just said that. 
Is there something? She'll be fine. It's just a memory wipe spell. Very expensive, but it works. The whole station will forget the last 24 hours and everything they saw at the woodlands. Well, hurry up. We found Tweedledee chained up to a post. That was your doing, correct? Yeah. Well, I don't know why you detained him. Dee was at the trip trap when Snow was left at the woodlands, so he couldn't possibly be involved in this mayhem. Bluebeard's currently interrogating him, and he hasn't said anything useful. And, Big B, we have to tread carefully here. We can't implicate an innocent man, and people are already worried about your conduct. He's working for somebody, and whoever it is wants him snooping around every crime scene I've looked at. That doesn't necessarily mean they're involved in the murders. I know what you're thinking, Bigby. It's been one full night and a slice of morning. And I already miss her, too. You know, I never get more homesick than when one of us dies. And now, for it to be snow, I've never been good with these sorts of things. I just can't believe this is really happening. Yeah. It's hard. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Did she, uh, give any indication to what she was thinking? When you saw her last, I mean. I don't know why, but I'd like to know that she was... I guess fine, I suppose. Just told me to be careful. She was always fond of you, Big B. Yeah. I don't know what else to say, Big B. We have to have to put an end to this. It's been two murders in as many days. If we don't unearth our culprit and soon, there will likely be another on our doorstep tonight. I'll get it done. Please, Bigby, for Miss White. I got it. That's not a very good answer, is it? Come on, just tell me what I want to know. It will make things a lot less painful for you, in theory. Oh, were you planning on using that? 
I just thought you really liked rubbing your little sword. What the hell do you think you're doing? Hello, Ichabod. Sheriff. Bluebeard. I was just chatting with our new friend. You were supposed to wait for us to get back. I told you, if you want to be involved, you will do things my way. No violence! Whatever you say, Ichabod. Hello, Big B. I want answers, D. Oh, goody. I thought you wanted questions, and I was having so much trouble thinking of any good ones. Though I'd settled on, how's your head? You see what I've been dealing with? What are you going to do about this, Big B? Shh. Do you think this is a joke? Snow White is dead. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. You were with me when it happened, dummy. I still have questions for you, D. Sounds like a personal problem. This is ridiculous. Let him work. He's got more experience with these kinds of things. Why were you at Toad's place? Looking for a change of scenery. Thought I might move in. Had to take a look around first, of course. Make sure everything's up to code and whatnot. Looked all right, except for this big hole in the wall. Might get drafty. I'm not fucking around here, D. All right, D. Let's get to know each other. Fuck, Big B. Don't make me look at that. Just put that away. Please. I don't want to see that. Snow was murdered, D. She was... important to me. If you know who did this, you have to tell me. I don't know what to tell you. You're barking up the wrong tree. I don't know who did it. Just tell me what you were doing at Toad's place. Look, Bigby, we're not on opposite sides here. My brother and I are trying to get to the bottom of things. Same as you. Your brother? Where was he last night? I can't say. He could have been anywhere. Take your best guess. He didn't do it, if that's what you're thinking. Then where is he? No, I'm not sending you after my brother. Look, I answered your question. Can I get my stuff back now? What did you find on him? Oh, uh, nothing of consequence, really. I know you enjoy my company, <laughs> but I'd like to be off. What is it now, Big B? You need to tell me where your brother is. Look, I know it's unpleasant. You don't want to be here, right? I'm not trying to make things difficult for you. I just need you to cooperate. Once you've answered my questions, I'll let you go. It would help if I wasn't strapped to a chair. Fair enough. Look, Big B, this isn't going to work. Don't you want to find out what happened to those girls? To Snow White? <sighs> Let me handle this. So where's your brother? Look, mate, I'd like to help. I would, but I can't tell you where he is. Last time I saw him, we split up and I went to find Faith. I don't know where he is now, but he didn't kill anybody. Just leave him out of this. You went to find Faith's what? Her apartment. I went to her apartment. That's no secret. You saw me. No, there's more to it. You said you were trying to find something. All right, D. What did you want from Faith? Sorry, I can't help you. I'm not saying any more about it. I need to know what you were doing at Faith's apartment. You better start cooperating before I get mad. Oh, I'm making you mad? Is that bothering you? What are you gonna do? If 
you don't talk, I'm gonna throw you down the fucking witching well. Come on, Dee, what did you want from Faith? Sweet girl like her. Sweet? You think that girl was sweet? She was a fucking thief. Fucking sweet. Faith was plenty of things, but that ain't one of them. I mean, you know what she did for a living, right? She stole from you? Not from me. She stole from my boss. Hell, I ain't got nothing worth taking. Your boss? So let's talk about your boss, then. You're gonna get me in trouble, Big B. I can't answer any more of your questions. You need to tell me who you're working for. You're not leaving this cell until you start talking. I'm not kidding. If you ever want to see the light of day again, you will answer my questions. Got it? Save your breath, mate. That's not gonna work. you again. Who do you work for? I can't tell you! If you don't talk, I'll rip out your throat. I'd like to see you try. Enough threats. Show him you mean it. Enough threats. Show him you mean it. This is getting old very quickly. You mind loosening those? I can barely feel my fingers! Ah. Real cute, you prick. Last chance, Steve. Who are you working for? Fuck you! You're a piece of shit, Bigby! Beauty was right about you! You're just a sick- Beauty? You're full of shit. Oh, we're good friends. That's enough! I will not tolerate this savagery. You think someone was trying to kill Snow? Isn't it more likely someone was trying to get back at you by killing her? It's your violent behavior and inability to control your nature that caused this mess. If it weren't for you, Snow might still be alive. You want to talk about Snow? You treated her like shit your whole career. Better take the blame for your incompetence. Now you can. What's going on down here? What's going on down there, Bigby? Abusing a prisoner like that. I thought you could control yourself. I was just doing my job. Oh, that's your job. Beating up people. Getting answers. I hope it was worth your time. Where the hell have you been all night, Snow? I was working on this case. After our conversation in the taxi last night, I got a call from Toad. He said his son found a body. We thought it was Faith at the time. Getting her back here wasn't easy, but hopefully we'll find something on her to help us track down the killer. Or at least to figure out who she is, if it's not Faith's body. I'm glad you took care of things. 
Thanks. Snow? What is it? Are... are you gonna be okay? I mean, uh, with all that's happened... I'll be fine. I just want to get to the bottom of this. I just feel like... What is it? I just... I feel responsible in a way. She looked just like me. And maybe that's why she was killed. Snow, it's not your fault. But she looked just like me. That can't be a coincidence. We just have to find out who did this. And why she was glamoured to look like me. I mean, that's what it is, right? So, what's our next move? We just keep doing what we've been doing. We do our jobs. And I'm supposed to do what? Sit around the business office twiddling my thumbs? Waiting for the big bad wolf to solve all my problems? Because that's what my job is right now! That's not what I meant. Well then what did you mean? I told you, I'm tired of sitting around. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore! I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once I'm and... not yours to lose! I'm sorry. I know it's dangerous, but I'm not helpless. I can take care of myself. I've been doing it for centuries. TJ is waiting inside. He was so freaked out last night, he wouldn't tell us much. Even now, he just stops talking altogether after a certain point. He's pretty shaken up, though, so try not to be too... you know... Myself. Right. TJ's over there. I don't know if you want to talk to him first or after, but let me know when you're ready to see the body. I... I want to be there. Buffkin, do you have a second? Of course, Miss Snow. Pity these can't solve murders. Well, that's appropriate. The moon. Usually this is about deception or confusion, but for me, well, who knows? I hope you can find what you're looking for. And acids. Maybe this has been harder on him than I thought. Snow's perfume. Oh, that's enough. Uh, Mira, vanish! Cancel! No. What the hell are you doing? What? I wasn't touching nothing. What's going on? Don't worry, no harm done. Right, Bigby? What were you doing with the mirror, Toad? I thought maybe I'd catch you on the shitter. I was just having a laugh. We've been waiting here a long time. TJ. It's all right. Are you ready to talk to Mr. Wolf? It's okay. 
are you, okay? Go ahead, TJ. I go swimming at night sometimes, in the river. I wasn't doing anything bad, I promise. Of course you weren't. We know you're a good kid, TJ. You're okay. You're not in trouble. Just tell me what happened. I was there, under the big blocks, and I heard noisy feet. And when I hear that, I'm supposed to go underwater and stay real still and quiet. That's right, son. Then I saw... I... I saw the lady! <laughs> it's okay, son. Take your time. The lady... fell in. But... but she didn't have her head on. I thought... I thought she was gonna pull me down, too. <laughs> cause... cause she had rocks on her feet, and she kept falling down in the dark parts. <laughs> Cinder blocks tied to her ankles. Is there more, TJ? Is it true? You know when people are lying? I heard you could do that. That's why you're the sheriff. Yeah, it's my special power. I always know when people aren't telling me the truth. Is there something else you want to say? Please, don't be mad. What is it, TJ? I... I didn't stay under the water. What? I know I'm supposed to, but I was scared, and, and I went to the top again. I couldn't help it! I gave you very specific rules. You have to stay quiet and out of sight or bad things can happen. I told you! It's dangerous out there! If someone saw you! You're not in trouble. Like Ellie's not. Not this time, Toad. So you didn't stay underwater? I don't know if anyone saw me, but, but someone said, stop laughing. And then I was scared, and I went under for as long as I could. Wait, you heard someone? Yes. Why didn't you tell us before? I didn't want to be in trouble. Did you see who it was? No! <laughs> Were those the same words they used? Stop laughing? Try to remember exactly what they said. They said... They said... Stop laughing... At me. <laughs> Sheriff... Okay, TJ. I'm sorry. After I came up again, there was no one there. And I ran home, that's all. I promise! I want to go home. <laughs> okay, you can go. <laughs> Thank you, TJ. Okay, son. <laughs> Let's get you home. You did a good job, kid. Come on, then. That went about as well as I expected. <sighs> you want to go look at the body now? In a minute. When you're ready. Hey, Mirror. Hello, Big B. Nice to see you. What were you showing Mr. Toad and his son? Cinderella selling shoes, Rapunzel, Rose, and of course there's you. And I can't help note that you did not rhyme. Do try to stick to the rules next time. Yeah, I'll do that. The 
woodsman and I were fighting. Now I want to know where he's hiding. Well, that's helpful. Where can I find Tweedle Dunn? Uh, that piece of scum. So, check out anyone who fits that profile. You might start with Bluebeard. Right away, Miss Snow. Are you ready to examine the body now? Yeah. Oh my goodness! I almost forgot. Come on. I didn't realize... I've never seen her face before now. This is... weird. Yeah. The glamour is so effective, it's... invasive. But... just do what you need to do. Check her mouth. There might be a ribbon in there, like before. Anything? Nothing. Can you close her mouth? Thanks. Looks just like Faith's dead. But there was nothing in her mouth this time. Do you think it was done by the same person? Hard to tell. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? No. He said he wanted to run more tests. That's weird. I don't wear a brooch like that. Maybe it really belonged to her. Not part of the glamour. Looks like something from the homelands. Buffkin, do you recognize these symbols? No, nothing I've seen before. She got your perfume right. How would she know? How do you know what perfume I wear? You can't fool this nose. Also, I saw the bottle on your desk. Do you see that? Could be a bruise. Track marks. She used Monday drugs? Looks that way. Pretty heavily, too. I hear they only go for the legs if they've used up the veins in their arms. Or if they're trying to hide the marks. Anyway, it means it's not a perfect match to your leg. Unless... Don't be ridiculous. Maybe she was trying to compensate with that perfume. Wait. If the glamour is supposed to make her look like me, shouldn't it be concealing things like track marks? That brooch, too. Why would it change everything else? I've never seen one this sloppy. It might be a cheap one, just to get the job done. The witches upstairs know what they're doing, that's why they cost so much. Unless someone is making glamours illegally? It's not technically illegal, miss. It's not encouraged for sure, but there aren't any laws specifically forbidding it. So there's some sort of black market for glamours? One would assume so. I imagine anyone with access to the proper books and training could theoretically produce a glamour. Yet another thing to worry about. Black market or not, it's a pretty good match. Look at that. The buttons aren't exact either. There's an extra one here. 
You're right. These buttons are wrong. I wonder... What? Snow, do you mind if I, uh, open her coat? Bigby, just let me do it. Well, I certainly hope you're behaving yourself up here. What have you found out? Her glamour is defective. Defective? We are thinking it's black market. We should really be regulating this kind of thing. Yes. We should keep going. What is that? She had the perfume with her. Looks like someone picked it out for her. So, someone gave her instructions. Are you wearing silk lingerie now? Why do you want to know? I'm just trying to see if the clothes are exact. They're not. seen things like this before. It's definitely magic, though witches don't usually craft objects these days. I don't think it's wise to fool around with that. It's some kind of black market magic. Who knows what it could do? We should have it looked at. Just to make sure it isn't dangerous. Don't you think? You may be right. One way to find out. Huh. What? There's something in here. How do we open it? I think I can figure it out. Something to do with these rings here. A deer. What does that mean? Oh. Is that... It's your hair. Someone must have taken this from my apartment. I noticed it was missing, but I didn't think. This was the last picture I had of Rose and me. My sister and I don't talk much anymore. Who did this, Bigby? She's a troll? You gotta be kidding me. All right, you can calm down. It's not like you haven't seen a troll before. Who is she? That wasn't there before. Who do you think she is? I don't know many trolls, I'm afraid. Should have left them all back in the homelands. You don't mean that, do you? Maybe Holly knows. The owner of the trip trap? No, she looks a little... Oh no. What is it? It's not Holly, it's... her sister Lily. She was reported missing, but I... I guess it just slipped through the cracks. We have to go tell Holly. Right. Who knows, she might know something about this. Who Lily was seeing. Well, certainly another troll. We should go. You can't go out there. Why not? It's too dangerous. Someone tried to kill you. Bigby, you can't let her go out there with you. 
You'd be putting her life at risk. Bigby is not in charge of me. He's in charge of this investigation. That's not the same thing. If Snow wants to come with me, I'm not going to stop her. But... We should leave now. You ready? Yeah. This whole thing is complete bullshit, and always has been. I mean, what's his job, really? To keep shit from reaching the woodlands. Jack, I don't know where they are. You're a bar. You're supposed to have darts around. And I normally do, but who knows where the fuck they went to after... Come on, Holly. I need entertainment. This'll do. Okay, okay, I know. Just relax. I'm not here to start anything. Okay. Miss White! I heard you had kind of a strange morning. It's been kind of a strange morning for everyone, I think. Every time I see this guy, he seems to lose weight. It's amazing. It really is. He loses weight and yet somehow keeps all the muscle. Jack. Wolfie, my dear, how are you? Because, you know, we were just talking about you. All of us. At the bar. Here. About you. I just need to talk to Holly. Privately. All right. Just give us a second first. I'm dying to hear about the body that came out of the East River this morning. It was a fable, right? Oh, everyone knows. Tweedledee was just here. You said it looked like Snow White. What the hell, Crane? Sorry. Tweedledee said you arrested him for no earthly reason. Kept him locked in the cellar all fucking night. He said you tortured him. Which... I don't know, that seems like a breach of your legislative duties. Bigby, come on. You can't be so dumb as Jack, to... find the off button, now! What is it with you two? You and Gran are all, let's get a posse together when there's no one around. But as soon as the big bad wolf walks in, your tails go between your legs. Cat got your nerve. What happened? What happened? I'm tired is what happened. Tired of what? Of trouble, Jack. I'm sick and tired of trouble. I don't want any more. So just stop revving his motor or wait outside or fuck the hell off. I don't care which. Both of you, listen. Bigby, look. Two fables are dead. And shit, Gren's sister... Holly's sister. Holly's sister has been missing for what? A few days now? And we haven't heard word one about it from anyone. Actually, have there been any updates? On my sister. I don't know how to say this to you, Holly. The woman we found in the river. Who was it? You know who it was. Boy, I sure walked into that one. If you say one more fucking thing, just one more thing, God fucking damn it! Of course, the dear princess Snow fucking White is all safe and sound. Where were you when we reported this weeks ago, huh? Where are you when we ever fucking need you? If you'd give one ounce of a shit about her, about any of us, she might have been saved. She might have been cared for. She might have been... <laughs> I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry we found your sister this way, and I... I wish this had ended up better.
Holly. Get the fuck out of my bar. I just want to- It should have been you. It should have been you and it wasn't. We recovered this from her personal effects. I thought you might like to have it. I... I didn't know she still had this. <sighs> the copper was from a dwarf mine. It's very rare. And very old. That was decent of you. Grin. Yeah? Take off for a bit, would you? Are you sure? about our life. Honestly, we didn't talk often. <sighs> she was lost here in the city. She just got swept away by it. Why were you two not talking? It seems so fucking petty now, but I just, I didn't want to watch it with her. I think she was off the Monday drugs, but she was hooking to pay down debt. It ate me up to see her that way. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. The owner, Georgie, with all his fucking fees, it's a crock of shit. That's how they kept her under their thumb, really. Holly, it's okay. If it's too much, we don't have to do this. Georgie. Hmm. Not the first time I've heard that name. What do you know about him? We can just go talk to him. We've got a lead. Maybe we can take it from here? <laughs> Lily. Thanks for everything, Holly. Is there, um, is there anything we can do to- No. No, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. It's not charity. It's looking out for our own. Is she? Where is she? She's at the business office. She's taken care of. I'm gonna have to go down there and get her. Fuck. Please, we can handle the funeral arrangements. No, no. It's, it's a kind of... It's a formality with trolls. We burn our dead by sunrise or... I don't know. Some old world shit will fuck your soul up. Of course. Okay. Good. Let's go down to the business office and start making the necessary preparations, all right? That club? I'll go down there now. See what I can find out from the owner. You were good with her. I'm impressed. Really? Thanks. It just made everything easier. Sheriff, what a nice surprise. I'm not sure I've seen you here before. You're always welcome, of course. Is it business or pleasure? Or both? I've got some questions for Georgie. Straight to business this time, then. You're in luck. He's here. Come on. I 
should warn you that Georgie does not like to be bothered when he's working. And he's in kind of a mood right now. I mean, more so than usual. It'll be fine. I have a way with people. <laughs> so I've heard. Welcome to the Pudding and Pie, where we cater to the diverse tastes of the Fable community. Your pleasure is our pleasure. Your desires are our desires. Your imagination is the menu, and discretion is our guarantee. Did you know Lily? She worked here? <sighs> My lips are sealed. You'd better ask Georgie. What do you think you're doing? You look like you're trying to take a shit. Who's gonna want that? No one's gonna want that. You fucking dozy bitch. Nice guy. Seems like a real prince. You do have a sense of humor. That's good. Good luck. It's your face. You have to smile. You never smile. How many times do I have to say it? You're supposed to... Hey! Oh, it's you. We're closed. Keep dancing, you. I didn't say stop. For fuck's sake. You, stay right there. Don't even think about sitting down. We're not finished. Leave her alone, asshole. Sure, whatever you say. What do you want, then? You here for a little taste? Tell you what, come back after midnight, maybe. I can hook you up. Or, uh, knowing you, she's probably not quite your style. You'd prefer someone who can take a bit of a beating. Tell me, do you prefer a stationary target, or one that will put up a fight? I can arrange whatever you like, for the right price. I'm not here for that. Ooh, I'm not here for that! Oh, you just stopped in for the chips, then? Jesus, Bigby, you're so corny. I love it, though. No, seriously, I love it. Okay, all right, Sheriff. Just fucking with you. Look, I know why you're here. Are you sure? Listen, Sheriff. Around here, we can't afford to wait for you and your swanky pals to take an interest. We have to look out for each other. When shit happens, I hear about it. Especially if it concerns my livelihood. In that case, I assume you knew Lily was glamour. Of course she was, you daft git. She was a troll. No. I mean glamour to look like another fable. Yeah? Well, so what? Who gives a toss? People get up to all kinds of things when nobody's watching. It's their own business. It's sick. Ha! <laughs> That's quaint. Especially coming from you. The 13th floor would never provide a glamour like that. It's strictly black market stuff. Ooh, black market, is it? How exciting. This is exactly what I would expect from a thug like you. Storm in, throw around a bunch of accusations, try to scare people. But you've got fuck all to back it up. And we're all just meant to jump any time the wolf shows his teeth. He used to be something, you know. Now look at him. Get that out of my face. This was part of the glamour we found on Lily's body. Take a good look. She was impersonating Snow White. Why? You've got this all wrong. If Lily was doing a special glamour, it wasn't for me. For fuck's sake, I want that kind of eat. Who was she doing it for, then? She had clients, Bigby. Maybe one of them was into it. A lot of fucked up people in Fable Town. Like who? Try looking in the mirror. Anyway, now what to do with me? Go on then! You're gonna hit me? Go ahead! That's what you wanna do! 
do, right? That's what you came here for, right? That's what you like. Tell me what I want to know, or I'll shut this whole place down. Oh, no, fuck! You! Take your sad fucking face where I can't see it! Bloody bastard fucking shit! You proud of yourself, mate. Proud of your little mess. Fuck's sake. Fuck up, Hans. Hold on a minute. Hans, is it? Hans just cleans up and provides a little muscle when we need it. He's not going to know anything about the girls and their clients or any of that. No one knows. Don't you get it? It's by design. Discretion is our guarantee, right? And the way we guarantee that is that no one knows anything they don't have to know. Including me. I cover my eyes and take my cut. End of story. Why not look it up? What's that? Isn't there a little book with all the stuff about the girls and all that written You're in it? You're a fucking moron! Show me. There is no book. And as for you, Hans... We need to work on your communication skills, and have a fairly good idea where to start. Hey, that's my personal property. <laughs> sure, go ahead. Do what comes naturally. Tell me about the book. You haven't got the slightest clue about anything. Hey, now! Cut the crap, Georgie. I want the book Hans is talking about. Hans is confused. Again. Don't even think about it. Look, Georgie. Why don't you just tell me where the book is? Can we please not go round and round about this? There's no book. End of story. Do not touch that. You hear me? That's nothing to do with you. There's still time for you to just cough it up. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but there's no Andy Magic book with everything you want to know jotted down inside. I sincerely wish there was. Maybe it would get you off me back. Well, well, what's this? Looks like a floor safe. I wouldn't know. It was here when we moved in. I don't have a key to it. Sheriff, will you come on? Fuck's sake, I've got to open up in a few hours. Give it to me. You're a big bad bastard. We get it. Everyone's guilty. We fucking get it. Jesus, you're killing me. I'm begging you. I'll pay you. Two women are dead. Then quit being a bloody idiot. Come on, mate. Leave it. There's nothing there for you. You might want to stand back. All right, all right, all right. Bloody come on, then! <laughs> 